Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making chicken fried steak with sawmill gravy. Alright, I'm starting out here guys. I have eight cube steaks that I seasoned with a little bit of meat tenderizer. What's in the meat tenderizer? I got this at the Dollar Tree. It's salt, garlic, paprika, 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 oil. I don't know how many paprikas has to be in it. I season both sides. I left my steak sit for about 15 minutes with that seasoning on. Now we're going to season up our flour to dip our chicken steak in. I have two cups of flour there. I'm going to add in two teaspoons of onion powder. Dexter's upset about the name of the video, but he knows it's steak, so he's dealing with it. Yes, Dexter. Yes, Dexter. I'm going to put in two teaspoons of granulated garlic. Let's use garlic powder for this. I just happen to have granulated garlic on hand. And I'm going to add in some salt. Yes, Dexter. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix that all together. You just want to blend your spices in, go with your flour, get everything all mixed together well. And guys, you guys who seen my video last night that I put up about Dexter, about his new toys, he was afraid of the rope at first. He didn't want to go over near it. I thought I was going to have to take it out. But now he's used to it and he loves it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, coat my steaks. I'm going to start by taking my steak and dipping it in some flour. And I have four eggs over here I scrambled up. And I'm going to go ahead and dip my eggs into the egg wash. Just want to coat it with egg. And I'm going to fry these four steaks at a time. So I'm only going to coat four steaks right now. And you just want to go ahead and cover them in flour. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to coat all of my steaks and then we'll bring you over to the frying pan. Now that I have all my steaks coated in flour, my large cast iron skillet, I have about a half inch of vegetable oil and it's got pretty hot. I have it over medium heat. We're going to get our steaks in here we're going to fry them until they're golden brown on each side. By that time the steaks will be cooked through. Okay, now that all my chicken fried steaks are done, I have them in the oven keeping them warm. I drained off some of the grease out of the pan here and I took out some of the breading that was left over there. I'm going to add in about a quarter of a cup of flour. And I have my heat set down on low. I might add a little more flour. And I'm going to allow this to cook on low here just for a few minutes to get the flour taste out of the flour. And I'll keep you guys on camera because this isn't going to take long. I'm using roughly probably about a half a cup of flour, guys. You just want to allow this to cook for a minute just to get that flour taste out of there. All right, now I'm going to add some milk in here. I'm going to add about two cups of milk in here. Got a stir. And I'm going to season this with some salt and pepper. I'll turn my heat up a little bit. I'm going to let this come up to a gentle boil and I thicken it. Okay, now that my gravy's in, you can see it's nice and thick. You can add a little milk to it if you need to to thin it out. Let's go ahead and fix up the plate and see what we got. I also went ahead and made some buttered smashed potatoes and some broccoli to go with this. Let me give this a try. And guys, I must admit that gravy got thick awful fast and I was adding some milk to it to thin it out. Give this a taste. It's got some gravy on there. My steak is cooked through as you can see. It's really good. Steak is tender. You got that nice breading on there, well seasoned. That gravy is creamy, delicious. Guys, that's really delicious. Nothing like a home cooked meal on Sunday. All right, there you have it chicken fried steak with sawmill gravy. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you.